హలో చిల్లరి మై సర్ శుభార్ పాటు చూడండి ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు కంటిన్యూ చాప్టర్ టెన్ కొనెటిక్ కీ పేషెన్స్ సో ఇన్ దట్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ స్టార్ట్ టెన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ ఫైవ్ చిల్లర్ సో నా ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు కంటిన్యూ టెన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ దట్ అప్ టు సిక్స్త్ సమ్ ఐ సాల్వ్ ఆల్రెడీ సెవెంత్ వన్ ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ నా సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ టెన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఎయిట్ సైజ్ సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ The difference of the squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number, find the two numbers. So there is one small number and a large number. So we don't know those two numbers, I have to find out those two numbers. We, which one, which those two numbers, I find out don't let those two numbers be x and y, we keep it and we find out those two numbers. So let, seventh question is, let a smaller number b a smaller number b x and the larger number and a larger number b y okay then the, the difference of squares so larger number first the difference of squares of those two numbers Larger number square first and the smaller number square next. So the difference of squares of those two numbers is 180 degree. Okay? The square of the smaller number. The square of the smaller number. Square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find those two numbers. Then I am going to consider see now x square is 8y, we, I want x to be square to be applied, x square is equal to 8y, you apply square to both the side, it becomes x is equal to square root of 4 into 2 I can write this, so this one I can write it as 4 into 2 into y, then it becomes x is equal to 2 root 2y, it becomes, so then I can apply here in place of x I can write it, this is y square minus 2 into root 2y whole square I can substitute here you call this as equation number 1 ok substitute 1 in 2 so you call this equation as equation number 2 I am substituting in 2 then it becomes in this manner ok simplify now y square minus 2 square is 4 root 2 this equation cancel y is equal to 1. Then you arrange the terms y square minus 8y. You take this side minus 1 a is equal to 0. Here you want to split the middle term. You can use factorization method or you can use it formula method also. So I'll check now whether I can get the square factors of 180 as 2 nines are 10, 3, 3 is 10, 3, 10 is 5, 2 is So in this if I do it group, then I have to get minus 8 when I will add a subtraction. So check now. So if I check, it be 10, 3, 2 is 6, 6 to the 12, or not half. So 3, 3 is 9, 9, 2 is 18. Yeah, 9, 2 is 18. 18 and 10. So minus 18. If I take it, okay, that I am going to get minus 18 and 10, I can see the middle term. See now, y square minus 8y minus 180 is equal to 0. So in this manner, if I split the middle term, minus 18y plus 10y minus 180 is equal to 0. To two terms to group in, in these two terms, y is common, take out y means minus 18 plus 10 y minus 18 this is equal to 0 so you take out common once again y minus 18 y minus 18 is common in both take out then y plus 10 it remains as the remains after taking common factor both are equal as to 0 y minus 18 18 is equal to 0 r 
y plus uh, 10 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 18 r y is equal to minus 10. So, here I have taken the larger number b y. I got the value of larger number now. So, uh, positive only I will consider. Because uh, so the difference is there, so I am going to consider the y value. Therefore, larger number I got it that is larger number y is equal to 18 I got it. And the uh, smaller number, smaller number that is x is equal to x is equal to I got it in this manner x is equal to 2 into root 2 y. So now x is equal to 2 into root 2 y. Then substitute the value of y here. 2 into 2 into 18. Y value 18 substitute. 2 into 18 to the 36. Then 2 into square root of 36 is 6. 6. Then x value I got it 12 children. So x is nothing but a smaller number. What I have taken? So let the smaller number be x. Therefore, the smaller number, smaller number that is x is equal to 12 children. In this manner, they told for us to find out those two numbers. Here, please remember they give two conditions in the statement. So here, the smaller number, the square of difference of two numbers is equal to 180, and the square of
equal to distance travelled divided by time taken. So we know distance and speed. I can convert in the form of speed is equal to time taken by the train is equal to distance travelled divided by speed. So when the speed is x kilometer per hour and when the speed is increased, so now a train travels. Uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km more, 5 km more, we could have taken one hour less for the same journey. See now, here actually, when the speed is x km per hour and when the speed is increased, if the speed had been 5 km per hour, according to this formula, 360 divided by x plus 5 time taken by the train when the speed is increased. When the speed is x km per hour, that time, time taken by the train, that is 360 divided by this one, when the speed is x km per hour, when the speed is increased. So before how much time he has taken? So when the speed is increased, when the speed is increased, this is the time taken by the train, when the speed is increased, 5 km per hour. This is equal to before how much it has taken when the speed equals x km per hour compared to that, 1 hour it is to take less now because it has increased the speed. According to that statement, we have to write the equation. This is the step we have to write it properly. Then will be full continuation, it becomes proper. Correct. Right. Okay. Here, now you are ready. You take it just this side and simply find out. You reduce the standard form of quadratic equation that is x plus y. You take it this side, it becomes minus 360 divided by x is equal to minus 1. Uh, then we will take calcium x into x plus 5, this is equal to so then x, x into 360 is 360x. Then you multiply with minus 360 into x plus 5 is equal to minus 1. Then 360x minus 360x minus multiply 5 to the 0, 5 to the 30, 3 remains 5 to the 15 plus 3 is 18. Okay, then multiply x into x square plus 5x, this is equal to minus 1. Minus 360x plus 360x here cancel. You multiply now, you multiply, you are going to get minus sign. Minus x square minus 5x, this is equal to minus 1,800. So, what I am doing, all these three terms that side, that side, if I take it, it becomes positive. So, I am taking that side. x square plus 5x minus 1,800, this is equal to 0. I will skip this now. I am going to use the factorization method now. I am going to use the factorization method because I will see now how I can split the middle down. Okay? So now, in this manner, I will split now. 1800, 2 nines are, then 9, okay, then 5, okay, 5 twos are, 5 twenties are, 4 fives are, so which is number I can choose it now to get 5 twos are 20, 20 twos are 40, yes, 9 fives are 45, these two are known and 5 fours are 20 plus uh, 20 twos are 40, okay. So I can split in this manner, x square plus plus 45x minus 40x minus 1800, this is equal to 0. Then two terms do each other. X you take common. X plus 45. Here minus 40 you take common. X plus 45 is equal to 0. Both the take one single common. X plus 45 is common. You are going to get the remaining factors. X minus 40. This is equal to 0. Both equalize to the factorization method. Already you are learning the 9th standard. X plus 45 is equal to 0. R x minus 40 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 45 r r x is equal to plus 40. So what we have taken, let the speed of the train x kilometer per hour, that only I have to 
flying at night, or 80 40 km per hour, because always speed will be positive, it will not be negative. Therefore, the speed of the train, speed of the train, speed of the train is equal to 40 km per hour. In this manner, we have to find out the value. Children, your statement they gave on you know your in physics you are learned that the speed is equal to your distance travel divided by time taken. By using that formula, we will convert in a form of time and see when the speed is x kilometer per hour, this is the time taken by the train. When the speed is increased, that time it takes less time compared to this. So this is the time taken by the train when the speed is x kilometer per hour. Then when compared to that time, it takes one hour less when the speed is increased. 5 km per hour. Okay, then so write it in this form, then convert and reduce to standard form of quadratic equation by using factorization method to find out the factors. Then what they do for us to find out that value I got it, that is speed of the train, which is 40 km per hour. Okay, then you practice maths and become perfect. Okay, thank you.